What's up, what's up, my Ninja people on a day? It's been a long time. It's your main man, Edmund E.K. on my Yoruba, Hausa, Ibo, Ishekiri, Furani, Hausa, Ibibio, Kanuri, Isoko. We are one Nigeria. And uh, boy, it just breaks my heart that uh, tribalism still continues in Nigeria. It's like just on the rising, especially the new incidents of. Um, Five armed robbers and five, uh, five armed Nigerian uh, robbers in uh, Dubai, robbing about 2.3, about 2.3 million uh, uh, United Emirate currencies, and uh, the names was released by the Commission of the Nigerians in the diaspora, the thing Mrs. Abeke, and uh, that has continued the tribalism. People saying. Because the names are Igbo, so Igbos are the ones causing all the problems in Nigeria. Igbos are the ones tarnishing the image of Nigeria everywhere. And the Igbos are responding back, saying that everybody hates Igbos. It's just the hatred. That's why they want to leave Nigeria. And uh, just all kinds of conflicts and just back and forth in the social media and off social media. I think it's just heartbreaking. We need to go past this. We need to get rid of tribalism in our in our polity, we need to get rid of tribalism in Nigeria, and in, in not just in Nigeria, all over Africa. In in Africa, and all over Africa is just the incidence of xenophobia. Similar tribalism, but xenophobia. I'm um, gonna talk about that very soon. But let's talk about this uh, tribalism situation, and people saying why there was the names released, and why why haven't the names of other tribes who commit crimes outside Nigeria released? So is it because they are Igbos or because the names are Igbos? It's just, it's just exhausting and um, annoying. We need to go past this. We need to go past tribalism. Um, so, but I think Igbos are not the only names released. The the lady that was uh, executed in Saudi Arabia because because of drug trafficking, the name was also released, although it was released afterwards, after effect. Uh, she said, that's a Yoruba name. And the guy that was caught uh, trafficking drugs again was also a Yoruba name. So, but all this does not matter. It doesn't matter what tribe you are. Crime is crime. You're a Yoruba, you commit crime. You're a criminal. You're Igbo, you commit crime. You're a criminal. You're a Hausa, you commit crime. You're a criminal. After all, our politicians in Nigeria are all criminals. So, it's uh, so let's stop calling and putting down it a whole tribe because of some people that are member of that tribe are, are criminals or are committing crime. We need to end tribalism in Nigeria. We need to end tribalism. It's not helping us. It's never going to help us. It's only going to create division and create retardation of progress. And we need to progress. In order to progress, we need to end tribalism and xenophobia. Uh, like xenophobia in Ghana, in South Africa, in Kenya, all over Africa. Africans killing Africans. They are black killing blacks. Like Nigerians go to South Africa and South Africa kills them anyhow like dogs. Or even Ghana, uh, the incidents of Ghanaians uh, killing Nigerian students. That's those are all parts of xenophobia, and we, we need to end that. How can Africans unite when they hate each other? How can uh, the same thing? How can Nigeria unite when there's tribalism and and hatred of among ethnic groups and among tribes? We need to end this. That is why the rest of the world is progressing because they're trying to avoid anything that's going to divide them. But and promote things that's going to bring them together to advance the course of their nation. And that is what we need to start doing as Nigerians. And uh, if we uh, want to grow and prosper as a people, and if African continent have to move forward and, uh, and not be labeled uh, the dark continent of the world or the most inferior people or backward race. So we need to do better as a people, as Nigerians, as Africans, and as black people. Uh, so now... As uh, you see, all know, uh, has been gone for a while. Uh, my last broadcast on my channel was uh, in um, February 24th, 24, 24, 2019. That's a day after the Nigerian presidential election. I came online and gave the election update. And uh, since then, I haven't been online because so many activities have been tight schedule and uh, so many uh, things to do and no time for YouTube. But yes, I am back. I am back. <laughs> Yeah, I am back, I am back, I'm back. So, but guess what? I just came back and realized I can longer I can no longer do live broadcasts. YouTube are horrible. So, I only have 78 subscribers. 
So new, new uh, YouTube have a new rule. You have to be have one thousand subscribers in order to do live broadcasts on your mobile device. So I can still do live broadcasts on my laptop or and, 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 or desktop, but not on cell phone. Uh, but so that is horrible. I prefer doing my live broadcast on my cell phone. So guys, guys, if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, subscribe. Let's hit this 1,000. It's probably gonna take me a long time to hit 1,000 subscribers. But yeah, I need to hit 1,000 subscribers so that I can able to go live on my cell phone. That is the best way for me to put out more content out there using my cell phone than carrying my laptop or, or tablets or other devices. So please, Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Like this video, share, share, share. Let this have more subscribe. Bring more people in the family because we need to keep discussing and things uh, how to better Nigerians, how to better Africa as a whole. So you don't have to be a Nigerian to subscribe to this channel. Uh, I'm gonna keep developing richer content that even touch other African country, other, other other African countries other than Nigeria. So subscribe, 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 and let's keep the conversation going. And now let's move a little back to uh, to the election. So since I haven't really done anything or come online or broadcasted since after the election, I guess I'll just give a quick summary or update about the election. I know most of you already know the update, but just in case you, you don't know, yes, President Buhari is going to uh, have won for a second term. And... Um, Atiku Abubakar lost, that he came second place. So President Harry won with 15.1 uh, million votes, while Atiku came second with 11.2 uh, million votes. And uh, some of you may be asking, what about the new generation candidate? Because at the earlier stage of this video, or last year when I started this channel, I was promoting the young presidential aspirant who became a young presidential candidate with their new parties. And we promoted Omayola Shawara of AAC, Tobesh Foshawa of ANRP, uh, Faladro Toy of ANN, uh, Kinsley Mohalu of YPP, and uh, Obi Ezekusiri of uh, ACPN before she dropped out of the race. So these are the candidates. Uh, I, I promoted, I, I talked about the most on my channel, so I feel obligated to tell you the performance during the election. So, now, uh, as as I predicted during my poll, uh, or other polls has predicted, AAC, Omoyo Leshore of AAC, was the top performer of all the young presidential, all the new generation presidential aspirants or candid, uh, candidates. So, uh, yeah, and uh, he proves that as well. On the main election so he had performed all the new generation candidate by comment uh, by becoming the taking the 10th place on the general election for presidential general election he came the 10th place on the whole ballot of seven, 70 plus candidate he came number 10 with a vote of 33,953 and uh, Kinsley Mohalu of YPP came number 14. He came 14th place uh, with uh, 21,886 votes. While Feladro Toyo of ANN came number 17th on, on the uh, he, he number 17th uh, with uh, 16,779 votes. While uh, Tobe Fashua of ANRP came number 36. Uh, with a vote of 4,340. So we're going to commend their efforts. So don't say, yeah, they didn't do it so well. But we know it's going to be a struggle to the, the, to to, uh, to demote or to defeat the big behemoth of APC and PDP. So I will commend their effort. They did great. And uh, in that regard, I would have, uh, they need to stay in the political uh, space. They need to stay in our faces. They need to continue talking to Nigeria, engaging Nigerians in every levels so that they remain relevant for the 2023 election. 2023 is coming soon. Uh, time waits for no man, time waits for nobody, time flies. So they need to keep engaging Nigerians, educating Nigerians about their civil, civic rights and responsibilities and, uh, and how to demand good governance by the people that are governing the country or that are leading the country. So... 
that is the task that is have been carved out for them and i can see omoyo lashora is still on the spotlight he's still um, going about the country and um, putting out videos and even the, the tib movement is still active and putting out videos putting our messages out there so i haven't really heard much about the ypp party or nrp party or ann party who they are lagging behind so that means or uh, AAC strategizing in coming back strong in 2023. But other young parties, I don't know what they're doing. But we will keep, we will keep observing and keep watching what's going to happen in our political space. And as uh, President Buhari takes over for the second term on May 29th. So what should we expect? Where do we go from here? Uh, I'm going to be calling upon all pressure group. I joined a pressure group myself so that we can keep calling upon uh, the Nigerian government to do the right thing and uh, put their citizens first in everything they do, provide a basic amenity for the people and provide all that is necessary for the people to, 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 to thrive and to excel as a, as a nation. Uh, so yeah, that is pretty much what I want to say on this first broadcast uh, after two months, I guess, yeah, almost two months. I've been away for almost two months. so. Uh, that's that and I'll try to put out more videos this week this Sunday I'll put a video out this Sunday and perhaps next sometime next week and the next Sunday I'm, I'm gonna try I'm still trying to figure out my schedule maybe I'll be putting out a video every Sunday evening or every Sunday evening or every other Sunday so when I determine that I'll also mention it here my, how my what my schedule is gonna be like uh, thank you very much for watching. If you're new to this channel, if this is your first time of listening to me, please subscribe, subscribe. For, uh, YouTube have a new rule that to go on live broadcasts, you have to have 1,000 subscribers. And I want to go back to live broadcast. I don't like this uh, kind of recording and then uploading later. I don't have that much time. I prefer live broadcast. So please subscribe, subscribe, please, please subscribe so that I can get to that 1,000 subscribers and start doing live broadcasts once again. Thank you very much. Stay blessed. Keep talking about uh, the, uh, the things that matters and spreading the messages and keep uh, elevating life, keep teaching real civic responsibility, the him, uh, rights of the people and, uh, and uh, how to demand good governance back from our leaders. Thank you and God bless you.